In this video, we present CODEPS, Online Continual Learning for Depth Estimation and Panoptic Segmentation. Many learning-based, state-of-the-art approaches perform well when inference is done under similar conditions as used for training. However, their performance can drastically decrease when the new target domain differs from the source domain. Unsupervised domain adaptation aims to close this gap by transferring knowledge from the annotated source to an unlabeled target domain. Classical UDM methods rely on access to abandoned target data, enabling simultaneous training on both domains. Additionally, most methods address sim to real scenarios, neglecting the performance on the source domain after including target data. In this work, we investigate a setting that is more similar to deploying a vision-based robotic system to the open world without prior knowledge about the target domain. After a network has been pre-trained on the source domain, we use online continual learning to improve performance during inference time, that is, target images are only received frame by frame. Additionally, we require the vision system to maintain its performance in previously seen domains by mitigating catastrophic forgetting. To address this task, we propose CODEPS, the first online continual learning approach for joint monocular depth estimation and panoplic segmentation. First, data from an online camera stream is revealed to CODEPS frame by frame. Second, we combine online and replay data from both the annotated source domain and the unlabeled target domain. We further generate semantic pseudo-labels using our novel cross-domain mixing strategy. Finally, we update the network weights via backpropagation. To avoid class collapse due to self-iterative training on predicted pseudo-labels, we use an exponential moving average filter to update the semantic head. To address the limited storage capacity of robotic platforms, we introduce a fixed size replay buffer that maximizes the diversity of the cached source and target data. To construct a source buffer which is generated after pre-training, we propose a refined version of rare class sampling based on ground truth semantic annotations. First, we sample a semantic class based on the class frequency, that is the number of pixels of this class. Then we select all images containing the sampled class, for example pedestrian. Second, instead of taking a random image from these candidates, we again sample according to the number of pixels of the desired class and add the RGB image along with its panoptic label to the buffer. We repeat this n times. The target buffer is dynamically updated while the learning progresses. Since the target data is unlabeled and initial predictions might not be reliable, we cannot use rare class sampling. Instead, we compute the cosine similarity of the encoder features with respect to the features of all images existing in the buffer. If the similarity is below a threshold, we add the image to the target buffer. If the buffer is full, we remove the image with the highest sum of cosine similarities with respect to all other images in the buffer. To continuously train the semantic head, we propose a new cross-domain mixing strategy that combines annotated source data with predictions on target images. We first transfer the image style from the target to the source image using histogram matching of the RGB values. Then, we apply a geometric transformation of the target image based on the intrinsics of the source and target cameras. To this end, we evolve the target image to match the appearance of the images taken by the source camera. Finally, a random image patch is copied from the target to the source image. The source annotations are retained and completed by the network's estimate on the copied patch. These pseudo-labels are then used in the cross-entropy loss. We use CODEPS to improve performance on Kitty360 during inference time after pre-training on Cityscapes. We visualize the online RGB image, depth and panoptic predictions, the evolution of error metrics, and predictions on the source. We plot the online performance on sequence 10 in green versus the performance without adaptation in blue. As can be observed, CODEPS improves the metrics of all tasks, including depth estimation, panoptic, and semantic segmentation. At the same time, the predictions on cityscapes stay constant, meaning that CODEPS is able to maintain its performance by mitigating catastrophic forgetting. In the next experimental evaluation, we extend the considered setup starting with the model that we obtained after learning on cityscapes and KT360. In detail, we now use SAMKT DVPS for further learning of CODEPS and require the method to maintain its performance on both cityscapes and KT360 that is the source as well as all previous target domains. Here, we show the results from continual learning on sequence 8 of the SAMKT DVPS dataset and compare them to the performance without adapting to the new domain. Compared to the previous experiment, the performance enhancement using CODEPS is more pronounced and reads faster, 
indicating that codeps can benefit from positive forward transfer of KT360 to SAMKT DVPS. Importantly, and as visualized on the right, codeps is still able to maintain its performance on the source and the previous target domain. Finally, we employ codeps on in-house data recorded with our autonomous car and provide qualitative results. We visualize the predicted depth and panoptic segmentation maps after pre-training on cityscapes and compare them to the results using our proposed codeps. On both tasks, codeps is able to significantly improve the prediction quality. Most notably, without continued learning, the building class is wrongly predicted for both sky and road regions. Codeps is able to correct these mistakes and reduces the overall number of outliers across all classes.